We're back again. Dude, I keep doing these intros, like full face cam. I look like such an idiot doing this stuff. My eyes look really blue though today. Not really sure what's going on. I'm looking good though. So what's up gamers? Ah, uh, we gotta find a server real fast. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't even do that yet. So this could be tough. It is the 3rd of December which is a Sunday, so it wipes on Thursday, for swipe. We could go play Rustoria Main, but it's just gonna be a bunch of NVG silencer, full whiteout sets, so it's not even really worth it. All right, I got the server. I got it. Let's load up. I'm not even really gonna do like a, a big intro today. Just wanna tell you guys I love you. Thank you for 10,000 likes in the last video. Super dope, super, 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 super dope. Little tattoo tour while we wait. We got uh, this face, we got this. It's a Frank Sinatra tattoo, actually. I've got the world on a string. Staircase to heaven. Um, a blade, a spider web, a star that I don't know why I did this. A little American traditional, that one right there. Then a nice little book with a candle on it. And I got this one for my relative who passed away. My aunt, love her. Love her to death. That was her handwriting. But yeah, quick little tattoo tour. And uh, let's just get into this video. I just got a text though. And I got another one up here actually. It's my sister's name in Japanese. For all you guys who were wondering in the comments below. You're welcome. All right. It is in fact your boy Wally1k. And uh, let's just get right into this content. Let's shoot for 10,000 likes. I love you. It's time to game. It's time to play some Rust. All right, let's get this thing started. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, outpost in the middle, dub. Oil rig and snow is not a dub. Large rig is in the desert, kind of a dub, kind of not. All right, let's go. Let's do this. This gotta be the first time I've ever seen something like this. Dude. No way. I just like saw the door close and I was like, maybe there's someone in here. All right, let's get out of here now. Thank you, Rust Clash, for sponsoring today's video. Rust Clash is an online gambling website with game modes such as Case Battles, Upgrader, Jackpot, Plinko, Roulette, Mines, and their original cases. Rust Clash has many ways to deposit, such as Rust Skins, Cash, or Cryptocurrency. If you use Cash or Cryptocurrencies, you get $1.66 per dollar. They also have a rain feature that you can tip every hour for a chance to win big. Lastly, their marketplace is full of withdrawals, and you can get any of your favorite skins. When using the site, use code WALLY1K for three free cases. Thank you, Rust Clash, for sponsoring today's video. Dude, no way. I hit him twice, too. Bro! They left my tools? They, they, they took my bow? Dude. He's camping in there again. I think it's the same guy. What? Why did it just let me destroy the lock? I didn't know you could- okay. What the heck is going on?
All right. All right, let's go back. Yo, behind you, bro. Ah, oh, damn, bro. That was pretty quick. Uh, rock to AK, though. I'm not gonna lie. We just gotta wait out this bag timer. And then we're gonna. Then we're gonna. We might just base down here, bro. Honestly, it's not, probably not a terrible idea to just like actually have a base down here. It seems to be popping off. So, like right outside of mining, we know that there's guys in the snow right here. Might not be a bad idea to just base there. Honestly. Mail gun. Actually, I got a pickaxe. Now that I actually have an actual pickaxe, I think I should just get this base down. We can get a sheet metal door. I was going to make nails, but I think a sheet metal door is more worth than nails right now. Getting a base down is taking longer than getting an AK. Just want to put it out there. I honestly don't even 100% remember where, like, what I even have in my stash. Like, at all. Boom, dude. We're gonna live below the L9 roof camper. Such a awfully terrible idea. Yo, we did it. We actually just did it. Oh my god, dude. We're like insanely good at this game. I also forgot to do my shameless plug of my Instagram. Go follow my Instagram. At NotWally1K. Go follow that, bruh. I want to get 50k followers on there. That'd be sick. 50k would be like nuts. Maybe some fine ass Latina Instagram models will see 50k and they'll, uh, they'll want to be mine. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, go follow that. I post some dope ass stuff on there. Dude, he just got dropped. We just witnessed this guy get dropped. Is he loaded is the question. He may have been loaded. I don't actually know. But we did get the metal frags and the scrap. So that was actually worth grabbing him. What we're going to do is we're actually going to get, get enough for a furnace. And then, yeah, we'll just buy metal frags. Screw it. All right, let's go back to base. Seriously though, boys and girls, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate every single time you guys uh, join on these weekly videos. Because it's a grind. It actually is a real grind to get weekly videos out. You guys have no idea. Unless you make videos on Rust that are an hour long each week, then you know. But if you're not doing that, you would never understand how hard this is. And technically it's for free. YouTube is free content. The only thing you have to do is watch a 30 second ad for my sponsorship. And that's about it. And you get and you get an hour long video each week. It's a deal and a half if you ask me. So thank you for being here though. It really does mean the world to me. I still believe in Rust too, even though you know the updates have been really bad as of like the last year. They definitely threw themselves under the bus a little bit the last year, but this is still one of the best games you could ever play that available right now. And honestly, the my favorite part about this game is the people I've met over time. So, like, I have such core memories, you know? I've been playing this game since 2014, so, like, I have some really, really solid core memories with some really great people that I've met on the internet. And some people on the internet, I'm closer than, than I am with people in real life, so it's like... And, I mean, one of the main reasons I am moving to Los Angeles is because a lot of my friends, a lot of content creators that I know that I'm friends with, like, they literally live in, like, there. So it's like, why would I not, you know? Why would I not go hang out with all my friends who do the same stuff as me as in content so I'm inspired every day to go and do something and better myself, you know? We'll get this sheet metal door down and then I'm actually gonna go grab a bite to eat real fast. I have meal prep, so it's only gonna take a little bit. Yeah, we'll get that down. All right, 
We'll be right back. I'm gonna go eat real fast. Quick little eat break. And uh, should be like two seconds. All right, you goofer gamers, I'm back. We just ate. I got like meal prep stuff that comes in. I'm not sponsored by the company, so I'm not gonna say what they are, but they're pretty fire. I literally just, I literally just go into my fridge, bro. Microwave it for like three minutes. Eat it. It's good calories, good protein, everything, bro. I'm really on this gym grind. No, no cap. I'm really on that. Or at least I'm trying. You know, I'm trying my best. It's hard when I'm skinny to, you know, make a difference in my body. Cause like the thing is, like, bro, like, I can rip the gym so much, right? But like I'll max out like I'll max out my body you know what I mean because I, I just don't have the weight for it so it's just like like there's only a certain limitation that I can uh with my weight but hopefully by the end of 2024 my goal is to at least gain 25 to 30 pounds because that would be splendid as long as I just keep eating right and keep drinking I drink like two to three protein shakes a day bro but as long as I keep that up should be able to do it in a year I'm gonna try to get myself to do like five meals and two protein shakes a day but honestly bro with what i'm eating now three meals a day with like two to three protein shakes bro i feel like i'm like always like gonna throw up like 24 7. Do you know what? like if anyone's been in the position where like they're trying to gain weight like a, like a skinny person trying to gain weight like you understand what i'm saying bro it's it's pretty awful you literally just feel like you're like a blimp 24 7. all right i'm hearing like a decent satchel c4 raid kind of far though the odds of me finding it, very low. There's a Hazzy in front of me. Bro. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have done it. All right, I knew I shouldn't have done it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll take it back. I think I should just I think I should just dip when I get one set. Like I should just dipped at that Tommy, you know what I mean? Cuz now I'm kind of down to like nothing. Now I'm kind of down to like, oh, you should probably farm. You know. We'll wait till morning to farm. I didn't realize it was coming nighttime. Daytime has begun. And what we're going to do during this time in our lives is get components. And there's already a guy on me. What? Whoa! Thank God he was only a one shot. That's a hundred scrap though. It's going right back to us right now. Bro. Wait, yellow is manure? That was the kid's name. We fought that kid a bunch of times. But why? Where? It'd be cool if you could like load a compound bow. Like have like a few arrows loaded. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. Weird take, but... Hey pussy. You almost killed me. Bro, I headshot him again. Oh my god. I don't know where they went. They left my compound bow and my arrows after I just almost killed them. Shouldn't you like think about that before you like leave it? I literally almost just killed you twice. They're in front of me. Got him. Dog, you're actually weird. Cheats. Pretty nice. Not bad. I guess we'll just keep going out grubbing. Ladies and gentlemen, also comment down below um, what you guys want to see on this channel because I've been seeing a lot of comments about people wanting stories and want like other things let me know what you guys want below because kind of in a position right now where i'm kind of not like stuck but i'm definitely like with the state of rust right now 
the normal like snowball videos like these ones are, they don't really do too well anymore which is kind of sad to see but just let me know though for real let me know what you guys want to see on this channel or if you guys just want to keep seeing me snowball face cam on and everything we could obviously do that easily that's done but just let me know because obviously i want to please everybody or as many people as i can obviously you can't please everybody because there's uh, a good amount of you guys now these days I seriously cannot believe though that I have 421,000 subscribers. Like that's like so unreal to me. And honestly, like I've always wanted to be a YouTuber when I was younger too. Like I started making YouTube videos when I was like 12, right? I probably had like 10 different YouTube accounts over my over my span of the YouTube life. And uh, I used to always like see, you know, like YouTubers like 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, four, like, you know, like, and I was like, dude, I wonder what it's like, you know, like being to like that, like that's like, that's so many people, blah, blah, blah. like. You know, like, I always wondered, like, what it felt like. And then, now that like, I'm here at, like, 421,000 subscribers, I'm gonna keep it, like, 500 with you guys. It feels the exact same. There's nothing different. <laughs> like, even, like, big, like, milestones. I don't even really, like, I don't even, like, like, celebrate milestones, which is, like, kind of crazy to say. But, like, I'm saying, like, way too much. I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, like when I hit uh, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, every time I hit those milestones, I'll be honest with you, it felt it felt cool, you know, it felt like good, but I, I really always thought that it would feel so much more. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. I thought I would feel better about myself just because I did reach those milestones, but to be completely honest with you, I don't feel anything different from when I had 1,000 subscribers. I literally don't. I feel the exact same. I, it's not like my lifestyle changed. I still have the same friends that I've had since I was like seven years old. Same friend group, dead ass. We've all been the, like best friends, me and the guys for like, since we were seven, the same exact friend group. It's, it's crazy to say, but it's true. I don't go out and I don't buy cool things. I don't spend money like crazy. The only thing that I've ever spent a good amount of money on is this place where I live and the car that I just got. And the reason I got the car is because my parents wanted my old car because that house in Florida that they have, they wanted to, because I mean, like my parents aren't loaded. I think I explained this last video about the, the real estate situation. If I put it in that video, if I put it in the video, but they wanted, they needed the car so that they could uh, sell it and then get a new car for themselves. But other than that, man, I literally, like, nothing. I, I still I still thrift my clothes, bro. I still go to thrift stores and I get, like, $7 jeans. Like, I, like, I, I don't know. Like, my nothing changed. I don't feel any cooler. <laughs> like, and I've met some people, bro. Like, I was in Los Angeles one time. Story time with Wally. Story time with Wally. I was in Los Angeles one time at, like, this, uh... It was, like, this TikToker podcast party... It was up in the hills. It was, I think I think it was like a rented house. It was one of those houses where like the sponsorship like pays for the whole house and like you just make a crap ton of videos that, like those kind of houses. And I, I can't believe those are real, but they are. Either way, really nice crib. Dude, I'm walking around that place and like these kids who sit there and do they be doing TikTok dances for a living, bro, have the biggest egos you will ever find it's incredible dude i'm like dude i'm like you have three million tiktok followers for ripping the renegade and you and they look at me like i'm like this like less than person because i'm not verified like on instagram i was like i cannot believe this is like real and we only were there because of like uh, uh one of our boys does music you probably have heard of him landon cube he made that song with little skies if you don't know who Landon is, Landon's very talented, but that's his biggest song that you would know. Uh, Red Roses with Little Skies. They invited him because I guess like music industry, you know, you want to like link with music people, yada, 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 whatever. So that's why we, that's why me and my boy uh, Whip went. And bro, it's just like, I could not believe it. I was like, dude, you have followers on the internet, bro. You are like, th it, it, it means nothing. It literally means nothing. So I'll never understand that, but... Maybe maybe I'm just real. I don't know. Like maybe those maybe those guys are just like are like not real. They're just humanly not real. 
but I, it was crazy, man. It absolutely insane. I, I could, I literally couldn't believe my, I couldn't believe it when I was there. I was like, dude, there's no way if you act like this, like, like what? Like I had a kid walk up to me and ask me like how many followers I had. I'm like, what? I'm like what? The, what does that even matter? My friend group out there though, in Los Angeles, man, coolest, coolest guys ever. Like literally the coolest. I feel so accepted there, man. It's like it's insane. You know, like when you when you show up to like a place and it's just like, what the fuck? That's not what I wanted. That's not no. What the heck? That's not what I was going for. But you know when you show up to a place and like it just like feels homey, like you just like feel like like you're like meant to be there almost. Because I've never felt that until I met that friend group out there and like was out in Los Angeles. Like I never felt like. Don't get me wrong, I always felt, you know, like, accepted, I guess, like, by, like, my friend group that I have here, because obviously they're my boys. But, like, I've never... Being out there, like, it felt... It feels like, like, I should be there in, like, a weird way. And it just feels like home. And, like, when you surround yourself with people who are, like, grinding and doing the same stuff that you are, it just, like, you, it motivates you so much. Because, like, I watch... I watch my friends just do so good, do these big things, and I'm like, wow. I want to, like, I'm so happy for you but you're gonna make me grind harder because I wanna get there too. You know what I mean? But I felt like such home there, man. They, they like, they all loved me. Like we, I loved, like we had such a good time. Every time I go out there, we have a great time. First time I went out there was like two or three years ago. And now I'm making the move to go chill with all them. And I'm, 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 I haven't been this excited about something in a really, really long time, you know? It just feels so right. It feels so right to do it. And I know it's the right move. I know it is. You guys are gonna see so much cool, fun stuff on social media. I'm obviously gonna be keep. Uh, I'm gonna obviously keep posting weekly on here. Like, that'll never stop. Well, maybe weekly will stop. Like in like a year or two. But I don't. I don't have a. I'm not planning for on that. So I have zero plan to ever stop posting weekly on here. So I mean, as long as Russ doesn't, you know, like just completely shoot itself in the leg. But other than that, now nah, I'll, I'll post weekly Russ videos probably like for years and years. But. Yeah, it just feels right, and I'm really happy that I'm gonna go do this because it's a big step, you know I'm from a really small town in New Jersey like really small like our high school We had a combined two towns in my high school and we still only had like a like I had like 90 people who graduated in my class Like 90 people graduated in my class. That's like unheard of two towns combined as well Or maybe it was like a hundred maybe it was like 110 105 something like that. So it's cool to just like, you know, it's just cool. Just from a small town in New Jersey, going to California. It's like, whoa. Obviously, like, my friends and family are a little upset about it. Only, like, a little bit. They're not, like, actually upset about it. Like, they're really happy for me, you know? I have really supportive parents, for the most part. They've always been pretty supportive in my decisions. But it obviously wasn't like that forever. Or, like, yeah, it wasn't like that forever. I mean, in the beginning, it was the, like, do you have friends? Like, go outside. Like, why are you playing video games? Like, you're, like... You need to go to college. You need to get a good job. You need it, you know, like that. And I basically, just from over the years of proving them wrong, you know, they become, they became way more supportive. Just cause like, I would assume like, if I'm, if I'm a parent, I'm yapping again, man. I'm sorry for yapping boys. I really am. But I like yapping. I like talking to you guys. So honestly, I don't care. I like yap. I like talking. I like hanging out. We're going to kill this kid who just came out of space. Um, but yeah, it was after proving them wrong over and over again, they became supportive and they, uh, they kind of just let me do whatever I want. I mean, obviously I'm 21 years old, so I'm old enough to it's like, yo, I'm like a full, I'm but I'm an adult now, you know? But definitely when I was younger, it was like, what do you mean? Like, you're going to play video games. Like, you're going, like, what are you doing? Go outside. Your friends are all hanging out and you're sitting inside, yada, yada, yada. You just got to prove people wrong, man. If you prove them wrong, I lost this kid. I have no idea where this kid went. We little component farmers. Dude, if that kid was still in here, bro. This is where this kid lives? Dude, no way. We know where he lives. I saw him come out of this 2x2 two two right here earlier. Dude, no way. There's no way his standing and spraying actually got me. Let's get a tier one down at least. We are kind of lacking in the component apartment. So uh, let's do that.
Am I the prim god? I might be. I actually might be the prim god. All right, let's get out of here. Just like that, scrap comes easy. Let's make a uh, research real quick. All right, we got all the basics done. 77 left. Shouldn't take me too long to get the scrap I need. Let's go hit a node or two. All right, we got these going. It's also like not that much to do when it comes to this base. Armor the ceilings with all the HKM we own. All right, now I feel a little bit more secure about uh, this yellow manure guy. It's an airdrop. It's probably called in though. I really don't know how they knew I was over here. Dude, if if I if it's yellow manure, I'm gonna I'm gonna freak out. It's not. GG's dude, holy crap, that was an insane beam. Thanks man, I appreciate it. it took me fifteen thousand hours. Beam, dude. That beam was fifteen? Wait. Hold up, dude, you killed- I killed you earlier, dude. Are, are you a YouTuber? I swear to god, I know your voice. You literally sound like, um, Wally- <laughs> <laughs> Thank god, bro. Thank god. Shout out him for watching my videos. Shout out you, brother. I love you for watching my videos. I'm sorry I had to kill you. But you grub me first. It was only fair. It was only fair. Okay? It was only fair that I did it back. Thank you, Russ Gods, for just bringing that kid right back to me. Like, I'm, I'm so serious. I'm so serious. The only thing that comes close to feeling like old recoil is MP5 burst. It's the only thing that comes close. I, I, I just, I miss it. I miss, I miss it. <laughs> I just, I miss it, man. That's it. I feel like when it comes to like recoil in this game and stuff like that, I obviously talk about it a lot because like it's not very good, but I'm not going to come here and bash it anymore. Like I don't, I don't really care anymore to bash it, but like a good comparison is like you work your way to become like a professional, uh, like sports. I know you live here. Okay. You talk to me. Oh no, bro. It's GG's. Shush. Crazy. I knew it. I literally knew it. Wait, is it actually? Dude, you sound so much like Wally 1K. Or somebody. Shush. I watched a lot of rough YouTube. You don't know nothing at all. Dude, <laughs> Dude I'm actually, I love you. Matter of fact, I'm giving you my M2. I'll be over in 10. No, no, I'm no. Don't do that. Don't do that. You. Don't do that. I can't do that. I gotta do this on my own. The second they figure out it's you. I'm gonna roam with my M2 and give you it. Like, dude, no! Like, stop. Like, people don't understand. Like, that, like, is, like, a real thing. Like, that really happens. Like, when people find out it's you on the server, like, it's, it's, like, GG's. And people think, like, you know, like, like, oh, they just know where you live, bro. Like, no, bro. They do think, like, people do things that make the content unnatural. You know what I mean? It needs to be natural content. Like, I, I appreciate them. Like, I appreciate you guys when you guys do find me. You know, that you guys, like, are cool and stuff. But don't do that. Don't, don't, um, don't give me anything and stuff like that. I usually don't talk in game, ever. That was a rare occurrence. I just felt like talking. I just felt like being, like, being like, yep, 15,000 hours. <laughs> like, that's a rare occurrence. That doesn't happen often, but still.
Don't, don't, don't do anything to make my experience easier, you know? Oh yeah, dude, this, dude, this is a vibe. I'm not gonna lie, we're vibing right now. What? I'm gonna keep it real, that, that last shot went, I shot him around it. But I will for sure take this farm, because God knows I need it. The only thing about the MP5 is that when you use burst, it breaks really fast. That is the only problem with the MP5. Other than that, the gun's fantastic. I love it. I'm glad they fixed it. Or I wouldn't even say fixed it, but at least they improved it. It went from a gun in my box to a gun that I use almost the most. That's a good sign. It's going down over there. I gotta get over there like right now. Yeah, they're, they're literally just baiting a fight so that I come over there. Like, I'm not even trolling. This door. We actually make something cool. We could like make it like, so it's already pretty interesting looking base. We can make it like go up one more and then like kind of like a staircase, you know? Could be kind of cool. Dude, I'm sitting here taking a break because my food's on my way, on the way. There's just a raid going on. I'll finish the raid after, but not at nighttime. All right, we'll go back. We'll go back and finish the raid. Whoa. Wasn't even worth. I don't know why he did all this. I low-key need these guns. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, we got a vending machine base. We can actually set- we can use that later. Alright, I'm gonna go eat now. Like I said, I was just chilling, waiting for my food, and then I heard that- <clears throat> Whoa, heard that pop off. So, um... Let me go eat up my food real fast, gamers. So that I can come back well, refreshed, good-looking, rust-skilling. Yeah, that's about all I got, actually. That's all, that's all I got. That's all I got! That's all I got! <laughs> Boys, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it like 755 right now. When you eat like shit, you feel like shit. It's just that simple. I got a five guys burger. I completely regret getting that. That is, that is like awful. My stomach just feels like buns. Terrible maneuver on my part. If I'm keeping it real. Let's get back out there though in the world of rust. These kids are kind of mad annoying for like doing this. Like you talk in game. These are like the, the viewers that are like, what are you doing, viewers? 99% of you guys are dopest ever. That 1% that just wants to run over and scream and build over your base. Those ones, they're not particularly my favorite. The only reason I don't like weekly servers is because there's not really a story usually you can line up. I mean, sometimes there is, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. Like, I just feel like it's so short. It's just so short. And like the weekly servers die so quickly. Like this is day two. And like, it's honestly, no, no, no. <clears throat> oh, dude, my stomach's not doing good. Uh, I, this is a terrible idea. Um, what was I saying? The server's not dead, but like a lot of the time it is a Sunday night. So I guess kit like people have work and school in the morning. 
Oh my god. But I don't know, bro. Monthly servers, I always find like a lot of fun on those servers. But like it's Sunday, these guys aren't on. That 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 Spanish Zerg ain't even on. Like what? Like what's happening? Like you just play the weekend and like that's it? And it is the weekend and you're not even playing? I'm confused. I don't know. I think I'm just talking a lot, man. I'm, I'm actually pretty lonely. I'm not going to lie. I've been spending a lot of time alone. And that actually gets to your head. I'm not even going to lie, dude. When I go, when I see my family and stuff, bro, even just like a hug, like, is so nice. I don't know. Something about it, man. I would kill for a hug just every day of my life. Just, just one. Because, like, in reality, I probably hug someone, like, once a week, maybe. Sometimes like once every two weeks, I'll get a hug. It's like, damn. And a hug can go a long way. I don't know why this topic's even coming. Like, why is this happening right now? But this is true, bro. A hug can go a really long way. Or even just like a, how are you, bro? Like I haven't even gotten like a, how are you? Like in a long time. And if I do get it, it's me asking someone else like, yo, how are you? And they're like, oh, how are you? You know, it's never like the, like no one ever initiates like a, how are you to me? It's like, damn. It's because dude, in reality, like, my friends my family and stuff like when you look at me from like the outside like the outside in like i just bought a brand new car i'm young i have the dream career i always wanted you know like i have like all of these things bro but like like i just be like faking a smile out in public man like i'm not gonna lie like, it, like i don't know i don't want this to get like depressing at all but like yeah man no one ever really checks up on me because like they don't think that like they, they just think I'm always doing good. But at the same time, too, it's like, I don't want to, like, look like a, like a pussy and, like, seem sad. You know what I mean? So it's like, when you, when you do see me in public, like, I'm, like, smiley as can be. And even for the most part, people ask. I just tell them, yeah, I'm doing awesome. But, because I just don't feel like conversating, actually. Never take for granted that, uh, if you live at home with your family who loves you, that, never take that for granted. Because life gets lonely when you get older. And I'm only 21. So, things are going to look really tough soon. <laughs> You guys also have no idea, like, how far, like, and I, like, I love you to, like, your family members. Like, even if it's over text, man. Like, just saying, just, just mentioning it. Just saying it to them every day. Just being like, yo, I love you. Like, that's, that's all you have to do. That's it. Just that simple, I love you, bro. It's so worth in the long run. Because I can tell you that I've lost people in my life where they would text me. And I was young and an I was stupid. I was like 16 years old type shit, you know, like getting into life almost like starting college, like in a year or two, or like even when I was 17, 18, honestly, I was this way. I've only really started to mature as a human being in like the last like two years, I'd say. But yeah, man, like I wish, I wish that I could tell some people that I love them. You know what I mean? Like I wish every day of my life. So if you do have someone, make sure to tell them every single day. Because you never know. You never know. You never know what could happen, bro. Life's life. You know what I mean? Throws curveballs all the time. So do that for me. Get on your phone, whatever, right now. Text them when you love them. Remind them. Because you just never know. You know what? Just so I'm not a hypocrite, too. I'm going to text my mom right now. I love her. Done. Not a hypocrite. It's that easy, boys and girls. <laughs> my mom already answered. My mom said, Mama 1K. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'll tell you in a sec. I don't know if I killed this guy or not. I don't think I did. No, I don't think so. Whatever. I don't really care. Um, but Mama1K said, uh, I love you too, my boy. All okay? Question <laughs> mark. It's pretty funny. Every time I do tell my mom I love her, she's always like, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, mom. Everything, everything's fine. She's like, okay. Just making sure. Thank you for letting me get to base. I'm coming. Dude, standing Tommy's insanely bad. If this kid doesn't have a SAR though, we gotta run. Ooh. That's actually nice. We're gonna leave that airdrop. I forgot we only have a tier one like are we gonna end day one with a base fully done with a tier one workbench like no tier two dude this is cozy this is wildrum exclusive oh my god
We'll make this a nice little like entry in and then this will be shooting floor as well. All right, that's like all the wood we have. Uh, I guess we can go roam now. Oh, I can't wait to rip the gym in a little bit. It's already 10. I'm gonna call it quits soon, boys, for day one. Cause I'm pretty beat and I gotta go to the gym, so. I know I'm skinny and everything like that, but I'm telling you, man, if you guys can learn how like meal prep and stuff, cause I know like meal prepping, all that stuff about like the gym, this, that, you don't, you want to take that from like, you want to take the, you want to listen to someone who's like big and strong, tell you what to do basically, you know, when it comes to the gym, you don't want some skinny kid telling you, you're not gonna listen type thing. But uh, yeah, if you guys can learn to like meal prep, bro, do that. Seriously, eat good. Like go to the grocery store and just like meal prep a bunch of meals, bro, that are good meals. How close am I to garage door? Not close. 315 more. That could help. I heard another footstep. I know he's out here. This. This could make things interesting. I threw. I actually just threw on that kid. What? Is he like cheating? That was so weird. I see all three of them. They're just going to the snow, bruh. Uh, genuinely no point of doing that. A three-man with M2, AK, L9, and they all they stop for an airdrop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to call it quits, though, for day one. Played a lot today. My brain's kind of, like, fried. We have upkeep. Base isn't done, but it looks decent. We'll work on getting garage doors and stuff tomorrow. And... Yeah. That's it for day one, ladies and gentlemen. If you are here at the end of day one, comment down hashtag M249 airdrop. Comment that because that's pretty funny that those kids showed up with all that for an airdrop. Either way, I love you guys. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for day dose. Doses. Ladies and gentlemen. We are back for day two. I'm gonna keep it real with you. When I logged in, I heard a raid, a 2C4 raid like three seconds ago. So like always, we are just instantly coming into a raid. I think it's safe to say that this guy plays like an absolute loser. So I'm gonna stoop down to his level. We're the goats. He did it to me first. It was very much deserved. We gotta go right back. What a start to day two. No way. No way. There's literally zero way. There's literally zero way. How does that just happen? Bro. Where is this guy? I literally have no idea where this guy is, like, the entire time. I hate silencers in this game.
I saw him jump off the train. And we got an M2, baby. And we got all of our AKs back. But yeah, I saw him jump off the train. So, I just followed him. And he, he uh, he threw. Because I can tell you one thing, he was not expecting that. Oh my god. I'm confused though. No TC. They must have patched it. Like, I don't know why they're not coming back. Or why they never came back. But dude, like a mini? I, my mini's gonna get stolen in like seven seconds. Like, it's making me think, is there even a point for a mini? At all? Like, I don't, I don't have the boom. I don't have the... I, what's this at? Seven? Okay. There might be a chance that I could leave this mini up here. And it'll still be here. It's a slight chance, but it's, there is a chance. Well, that's the that's our start of day one, I guess. She or day two. I wish that was day one. Oh god. Heli's out, but it's going the wrong way. Do I just fight it here? One explosive? Oh god, this is gonna be really bad. Please give me boom. Oh man. A prototype! This is unreal. And zero counter raiders. Like what? Well, I guess he was coming a bit late. With a revolver. I just wanted boom, bro, because I was gonna boom this base. I was gonna finish off the that door. Like, these, these doors. I was gonna finish them off. I guess we'll never know. Because even though we counter raids, we never get boom from them. I don't know why. I mean, we got two satchel- or four satchels that won, but... Speaking of, how is my vending machine doing? I'm a bitch. I think someone raided it. <laughs> I guess we can go run over to where we, where we heard the raid going off. It was like, deep snow over here somewhere. So... Let's go do that, guys! I don't know why he came out with five rockets. He was a naked with an HLMG. Five rockets? Insane. Alright. Got those rockets inside. We're gonna- we're just gonna bomb this heli. I'm not even trolling. I'm literally just gonna swanton bomb this mini. I got no reason to have a mini. At all. And I might as well get back there as fast as I can with the mini. Screw it. Do we go for like a really cool, uh... Screw it. Nope. Please run the risk. I'm on your team. It's not even that crazy of loot. We're going in. No, I'm on your team. Don't kill me. I don't know. I don't know how that kid. I think he has it patched off. We out. I'm literally a TikTok clip machine, bro. That's how you do it. I want to. I want to see something actually about this base up the hill. Actually, we'll see after we boom. We're gonna boom those garage doors real fast. This is already pretty lit, and these are boxes. We're doing this one, I guess. Screw it.
I just realized I can't get back up because I don't have a ladder. Wait. Yeah, I can build. I mean, I'll for sure take the wood. Well, I mean, it's a lot of red cards, but garage door actually is kind of huge. Oh yeah, there is someone. That, my friends, was not worth it. Like, at all. I'm a little upset about it. I was hoping for like a box and half a sulfur. We in fact did not get a box and half a sulfur. We got wood though. Do in fact love me some wood. And a garage door. Very big. We're gonna go and do something stupid now. I'm trying to think about these guys over here and how they just like raided this and it has no TC, but like I wonder if they patched like hella or if it's just one door they patched and like all the loot's in here. Did they go to the bottom? Alright, we're just gonna go through this door. I literally do not care. All right, they obviously didn't go through the bottom. All right, let's find out. Oh. Oh my. If you read this, you're... Man, what the heck? All right, so it turns out that these guys raided this base, but they patched the two doors and there's nothing left. What's up, gamers? As you see, it's nighttime. I took a little bit of a break because I had to fold some laundry and do some stuff. I swear to you, though, I just heard a satchel go off when I had my headset off, and it sounded like it was my base. Like, it was so close, it sounded like my base. I'm not even trolling. I literally was just, like, chilling here, and I was like, whoa. It's like I... No way. Damn, bro. The kid in game literally said, Damn, bro. Here's Saturade. I do be feeling bad, dude. I keep stealing like everything from this kid. Huh? There's a wooden door on this base and he's satcheling it. It actually was very worth it. He's kind of a brick for not patching with an actual door. He had all those metal frags on him. And he chose a wooden door. Definitely have enough for garage door now. Heck yes. Alright, the first garage door. Feels good though to have these down. Weirdly enough, bro, I joined the server yesterday, right? And then I joined my boys, uh... This artist guy, he makes he makes some really splendid music. I'm actually using all of his music on my second channel when that gets started in 2024. He's letting me use all of his unreleased music. He is the goat for this because he's very talented and it's very good music. Either way, that's a full kit. So is that. Hmm. 
What is going on? Guys, what guys, what is going on right now? Bro, I think I just squad wiped an entire Zerg. Dude, whole oh. my God. I don't even know how many I killed. I literally have no idea how many I killed. AK on ground. Yeah, dude, it was a full Spanish team I just wiped. Bro, I know I wiped more. Oh my god. I cannot believe what just happened. Dude, I heard him put a s attachment on his gun. I, I I clicked. I clicked the wall. Bro, I clicked that wall. That's annoying. I think I got a GC buffer when I clicked it though. What? Am I blind? What, man? What do you want from me? What do you want? What the? High key, you is hacker, bro. I'm gonna go put these walls outside my base, because why not? Dude. Heck yes, bro. We're actually on top. Oh my god. I think we got a problem, Houston. I mean, respectfully, they can easily get up this. Pfft. Look at that, boys. Look at this. Look at this compound that we have just made off of the guy's walls that they came roaming with. This is incredible. I'm going to keep it real with you, boys. I gotta go pick up some food I got. I got- I got- I got good food though. I got like a salad. I got a taco, okay? But it's a good taco, I'm pretty sure. So I got that coming. I gotta go pick that up like, in like five minutes, honestly. So...
Yeah, I was just kind of waiting to get raided now, but they're not coming. So hopefully they're not going to show up when I'm getting a taco and salad, right? We hope. All right, I'll be back. Oh, Lordy. I just ate a taco and a salad and I'm feeling good. Dude, I should just start singing, bro. I don't know why I'm doing this YouTube stuff, bro. I also had a nice little drip change because I was like, you know what? We're going out in public, bro. Like, I got to put the beanie on. Got to show off the tattoos. You know me. Come on, gang. All right. Let's get back into Rust, though. So far, nothing has happened, like, at all. So, I'm kind of bored. All right, I'm here in AK's. case. Well, I mean, it was the AK. This is where the kid said that this clan lives. CR14, where do you live? Na casa, wait. Na casa da sume. Guys, can we get a can we get a translation in the comment section below? Siri, what does na casa de sua me mean? At your mother's house? <laughs> no. <laughs> bro, dude, no way. No way, bro just hit me with that. Playing the same game? I was I was reading a text. Why did they not shoot me? Guys, you would not believe this story I'm about to tell you. Alright. Oh actually I can't tell you this. Oh shit, GG. I uh I'm new to the game, man. <laughs> Rolled up with me fast. Holy shit. I gave Jesus you an AK. Jesus, Take it. I gave you an AK. G Holy shit. What do you want, man? We give AKs away now. Changing rust one player at a time. But then we end naked on horses. <laughs> we, help, we help the guy and then we just end this random kid on a horse. Wait, I think I think that's the new guy going in with the AK. Someone's C4 in train yard. You did great, son. You did great. I got it from here. One dead. Guess we just get out of here. I'm literally like memeing and just like winning. I feel like when you have like this kit, like L9, M2, like, I don't know. It just kind of seems as if like you've really just achieved end game, you know? Like you just constantly like, I hear another AK. Like I just have so many meds. I'm full HQM, M2, L9, AK. There's not much more that you could do. No. No, that's our, that's our boy. No, dude, no. What the heck, man? You don't have to do all that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> are you breaking something in here? What are you doing? Yeah, I was, I was trying to. I soft sided a wall, and then, uh, yeah, I didn't really get anywhere. All right, I can respect the grind. Good luck, man. Yo, brother, did you get your AK set back? Hello? Is, is it you who I gave the AK to? 
Yeah, yeah, I got, I got it back. Thank you for leaving it. Whoa. So Wait, what, okay, what were you are, saying? Are you in a team right now or no? No. Okay, can you open your door so I can invite I you to my team? Solo. This so, is... Just so I don't kill you anymore? All right, perfect. Okay. You know what? Let's be, let's, since the holidays are coming, what we're going to start doing, we're going to start giving away guns. Hey, man, happy holidays, man. Come here. We're pushing positivity this holiday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't like that kid. What did, wait, what did you want? We're pushing positivity this this holiday season. Oh! Wait, what? We're pushing positivity. Thank you. Of course, man. God damn it. It, it can't be. And the wild man is running through the wild wilderness on his way on this adventure. Dude. Yeah. We're gonna drop this Arctic suit, kid, and then we're gonna give him our base. As long as we don't fo Oh, shit. Alright, brother, we're pushing positivity this year. Yeah. How, how you gonna do that, dude? We're pushing positivity. Follow me. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> it's the holiday season, so... We're pushing positivity. Hey, you know, I actually just uh, downed somebody and then picked them back up and gave him some shit. Good man. That's exactly why you deserve what you're going to get here. Come on in. Follow up. You can look through the boxes if you want. They look they look juiced. Follow, follow. All right. Get that get that TC for me. All right. Now, uh, All right. you know how to, you know, you got to yep. take off the locks and then put them back on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, start doing that while I'm doing this. I'm unlocking them all, so take them off, put them back on. You are a blessing, sir. Of course, man. We're pushing positivity. <clears throat> yeah, so we're just playing this wipe to uh, get a little bit of blueprints. Oh, yeah. So this will this will definitely help. Do you get all this? Have you been a solo player the whole time? Yeah, for a day and a half now. Yeah. Here, come here. All right, now I need you to. Oh, yeah, I need you to take this L9. Murder you. And I need you to say yeah. subscribe to Wally 1K and then shoot me in the head. Did you say Wallace 1K? Yeah, Wallace 1K. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, subscribe to Wallace 1K. <laughs> Wholesome ending. Wholesome ending, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out Titan. He actually has no idea who I am because he would have probably been like, yo, Wally 1K? What the heck? He's got no idea who I am. Shout out him. This was a fantastic wipe we just had. Great time. Face cam, all that nine. Good stuff. I don't know why I said nine. I love you guys. If you guys do enjoy these uh, face cam videos, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to comment. All that good stuff. Post me on TikTok. Do whatever you got to do. I love you all. I'm your boy, Wally1K, and I will see you guys next Wednesday at 5 p.m. EST. Peace.